This is America. No. You can have your opinion. <laughs> There's only right and wrong. Oh, I'm no. right, you're wrong. You're allowed to have your opinion, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why it's wrong. <laughs> you, can, you can still say it, and you can just be wrong, and that's yeah. fine. You can be wrong. Yo, 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 yo! Welcome, everybody, to another exciting episode of Multiplayer. So exciting. The podcast <laughs> by gamers. For gamers, I am one of your hosts, Zach Matscanis, alongside the winning dude with the inner tube, oh. Javier Ortiz. Yo, that rhyme game is on point. <laughs> we are the winners, uh, and it's so cool to have my tube now. It is much bigger than I thought it was going to be, but yeah, yeah so if, it's awesome. If you're watching the podcast version of this, you have literally no idea what we're talking about. If you're, if you're watching, yeah, so the podcast version. If you're listening to the, you can't watch the podcast. Yeah, they're watching it with their earballs. All right. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Uh, if you're if you're looking at this on on YouTube or another video format, you might see this crazy giant inner tube over here <laughs> in the corner. It's absolutely enormous. We can't even fit it on the set. It's so huge. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Well, I could literally fit two people in that thing. Yeah, it it's, is ginormous. It's it's pretty big. We'll uh, yeah. we'll have some pictures up on our uh, like our Instagram and Twitter. Mm -hmm. it. It'll be a good time. Oh yeah. And then uh also got this like really dope swell bottle uh with Princess Peach on it. It's much better it's, than uh, my plain black one. I know. <laughs> mine's uh mine's way cooler. Yeah. Uh and we uh we actually won these in a little little fun contest through this uh, arcade called uh, Neon Retro. Just wanted to do like a, a little shout out to them over at Northridge and Pasadena in uh California. Super cool place. Yeah, yeah. Neon Retro Arcade is just it's Really cool. It's tons of old school cabinets and like legitimate old school cabinets that are taken care of really well. Like they all look really good, yeah. they're pristine condition. It's just an awesome place. It's really fun. Yeah, it's it's basically like uh, you you know you pay by the hour. It's like ten bucks. You go in there and uh, everything. Yeah. All the arcade games are free. And you know, like you said, it's it's all classic games. It's none of the. Uh, Kind of the the newer arcade cabinets that just have a bunch of emulations and right, stuff in yeah, it. Right. Yeah. No. Like they have a Popeye machine. Yeah. That's just which Popeye. Which the, the Popeye machine, that game or that 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 cabinet was so pristine. Oh it yeah. Blew me away. Like yeah. whoever is wherever they're getting these things, whoever's restoring them. Yeah. They're just on point. Like that that place is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kudos and, to uh, the uh, you know the whoever's in charge of the neon retro arcade like the company or the business or whatever that that person is clearly passionate about yeah. old school retro cabinets and it's it's awesome. It's really cool to be in there. Yeah, for sure. But uh, but anyway, so, yeah, so we have uh, we have a pretty fun show for you this week. Uh, we have a good amount to talk so about. So much news. We have fun things to talk about. We got things to be angry about. You know, it's gonna so be a good much one. Anger. It's gonna be a roller coaster <laughs> of awesome good times. So Hav, bring us into our Let's first. Let's start thing. it off with I think something that took the most uh, prevalence this past weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, Super Mario Tennis Aces. Is, yes. there, is there a Super in it? Or is it just Mario Tennis Aces? I think it's Aces? just Mario Tennis Aces. Just Mario's Tennis Aces? But, you know, we I'm just so throw it in the there. Super, yeah. I don't know. Um, so that game. Yes. Man. <sighs> you want to talk about potential? Yes. That game has some potential yes. to be phenomenal. Yeah. I. Uh, so, if you don't know this about me, uh, you suck. No. <laughs> um, if you don't know this about me, I'm a, I'm a huge Mario Tennis fan. I... Uh, like the everything from the the old Game Boy games to the console games, I've just been a huge fan of them my entire life. Like yeah. I, I, you know, I think I started with the uh, like the the old Game Boy Color games, um, which are very much like it's like a story driven game with a lot of RPG kind of elements. Mm -hmm. The closest thing nowadays to it is probably like Golf Story. So check that game out. If uh, it's a good game, <laughs> it's a good. It's, a, it's man, a good game. I, I love Golf Story, yeah. but it just it reminded me so much of those old school, uh, like Game Boy, yeah. Pokemon, or Pokemon. Jesus, uh, we're not there yet. We'll get uh, there. <laughs> like Mario Tennis, Mario Golf games were kind of yeah. like that. Um, and then you had Mario Tennis for the Virtual Boy. I love that game. Yeah, I, I loved the you know sixty four yeah. and GameCube, and then. I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. So, <laughs> we the we I just I hated like every one of like the Mario sports games. Just, like yeah. they just there's too to much motion them. control yeah. kind of nonsense. Mario Kart, Mario Tennis. The only one I liked from the time was uh, Mario Strikers. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, so being a big Mario Tennis fan, this game, like it just 
is exactly what I wanted from that game. And, and just the, the demo that we were trying. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the story mode in it. Um, that's what I can't wait for. Me. Yeah, that's like, can't wait. Because yeah. I'm like a big Mario Tennis yeah. like story mode you fan. You know it's going to be fun. Like, it's going to be, it's, I mean, from their initial demo, it's going to be super fun. But it's yeah. also like, the way that game plays, it's one, I th- first off, I think it's silky smooth. Yeah. I think the controls in that game are, are just uh, pristine. There's one one issue. Yeah, the, the, the double th- tap of yeah. the X button. Cause it, so you yeah. have one button that's your trick shot, which like moves you around the, the court super fast. But that also is your, um, your button for your lobs and then for your drop shots. Yeah. So if you just do a single tap and then move the direction of your stick, it'll do a lob or drop shot. If you double tap it, you'll like yeah, move quick super move, quick and you'll, you'll do move, like a... Yeah. But see, in the heat of the moment, You're sometimes just, I just, I'm, I'll tap a button a yeah. couple times because you get really into it. Mm-hmm. And then I totally screw up my shot. So I've had to really try not to do that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's I mean, I, I, I think I speak for a lot of people when it, it's hard to not button mash at certain points when you're playing a game. Yeah. You know, especially, you, you know, games like, especially in the Mario series or Donkey Kong series or, you know, all those old school platformers are used to just button mashing. Even mm-hmm. though it's not going to do anything, you just need to do it. Yeah, it's so just... It's just that feeling that yeah. you need to do I mean, it. You're just in the moment, you know? Yeah. You're just like, ah! Yeah, you just you're exactly. like slamming buttons yeah. and... Uh, but but uh, honestly, like, I, I think uh, my favorite thing from that game so far is Waluigi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, Waluigi, is Moonwalk <laughs> is... Just, yeah, like, spoilers if you have not played it. <laughs> oh, it's not a spoiler. Yeah, it's just I mean, a move. I know, but, like... The, the moonwalk in that game with Waluigi is so... And I never thought I'd say that in a sentence. Like, oh, Mario Tennis game or Waluigi moonwalks. <laughs> yes, that's a thing. And yeah. it's really awesome. Um, yeah, but his, uh, and his, like, his power shot and everything are like, super, yeah, yeah. super great. <laughs> he's, so, he's such a funny character. Um, yeah. But so uh, everything about it so far is really great. However, there's a caveat. Yeah. There's a big caveat. And is I it, hope that this... Are we doing a hot take on this by the... I, I don't think this is so much... A, I th- we, we can dive this, really yeah. deep if we want to. Because so this we'll... is this is just part of the initial reaction. Yeah. It is that... And I hope it's just because it's a demo. The online side of it is kind of weak. Yeah. The lag is real. It's, like, it's, it's pretty it's real. It's very much there. <laughs> and it's tough to play through yeah. uh, at some points because... You know, a lot of people, you can check their, you can see their connection status yeah. via the bars, and a lot of people have one bar. And yeah. I don't know if that's the people or if it's Nintendo. It's yeah. hard to tell because so, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Like, it's uh, almost every other match. So I won't claim that I'm like an, an expert of like internet and like a networking kind, yeah, of, kind server of stuff. stuff yeah it's like that is absolutely not my yeah, yeah no, <laughs> my no. expertise i'm not an it guy but you know what i do know is you have like you have games with dedicated servers like stuff like like halo i have a dedicated server overwatch stuff mm-hmm. like that and then you have games that are peer-to-peer which it basically uses your connections to kind of host right. that like specific match or whatever and this is like a peer-to-peer kind of game where it's just, if you go into a match and somebody is kind of slow as far as their internet speed, yeah. it's a huge issue instantly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's just, and it used to, like, I know back in the day, like, so many games that were kind of like that where I would play, like, Metal Gear Online and you'd be playing with 16 people. And if one, like, if, like, the one person that was kind of the host of everybody had yeah. bad internet, like a bad ping, then just the whole yeah. thing was just It's like the weak and, chain in the link. It's, yeah. It just, everything falls apart. Yeah, so this is kind of that way where it's, it's if you got crappy internet, then it's just everything <laughs> suffers. Yeah, you know? hopefully hopefully by the time the uh, the $20 internet uh, God, I hope service so. comes through. I, yeah, I mean, one would think that would make yeah. the most sense. Yeah, But we're just, dealing with Nintendo, so who knows? <laughs> dude, they need to get this whole internet thing. <laughs> just, fixed just, it is just laughably bad uh, yeah in 2018 and, it's just and that, that's and we were I, I said that like you know we were joking around like we were playing right next to each other and you were like i'm the king of the lag and, I'm, <laughs> and I, I literally i said i'm like that is such a sad statement to make in 2018 you gotta master that lag like, dog. it's so you had like there were moments in that game where like i showed you i'm like i pushed over nothing happens and like two seconds later yoshi's just like yeah oh, and just moves over it's like god it's tough but yeah. uh, again Hopefully, by the time their new online infrastructure is set, that won't be an issue. I hope so. Hopefully. I will say the one kind of, kind of saving grace for that situation is that before you jump into a match, it'll show their connection, 
yeah. speed and it'll ask you, do you want to play with this person? And then yeah. you're like, no, I don't want to play. But he's got yeah. one bar. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> and it's really nice because like you're in the online tournament and that doesn't remove you from your place either. Like Correct. you can yeah. still search within. Which like, is really nice. Yeah, I didn't figure that out until like 10 matches and I was like, oh, I could like just leave. Oh, I can say no back. to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I think it's such a fun game. I think it has huge potential. I think if Nintendo figures out if they figure out this online situation, uh, I think it could be one of the better uh, Nintendo online games yeah. ever, especially now because they're they're starting to get into that with Splatoon, with Arms, with even Mario Kart. Uh, they're yeah, really Smash trying to get into Brothers the yeah Pokémon tournament. They're yeah. trying to get into that online competitive scene, and I think this one is uh, this yeah. one might be the so best next I, to Smash. Yeah. So I not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just stupid, stupid good at like the Mario sports games. I don't, I don't brag. Don't, Huh? Don't, don't break. I, I, just look. Stupid it's just, good. Just stupid good. I'm so stupid good. and I'm good. All right. <laughs> like argue that. Mario Strikers, Charge for the Wii. I was 88th in the world at one point. Yeah, it's like, 100 people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, there were only 100 people playing, but I was 88th. Okay. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> there were there are 12 people that sucked more than me. That, just that, remember that. You're, you're not wrong. But so, I'm. Like Mario Tennis, I've naturally always been good. No. Like I, I don't think I've ever lost like a single match in 64 or GameCube. And we'll change that. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'll I'll play it and I'll like people they they'll challenge me to these games. I'm like, you should really shouldn't. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, so like playing in some of the uh, like the final like tournament uh, matches, like the the. The final match, I guess, uh, in, yeah, the, in the, the bracket. Championship round. Yeah, um, there were some matches I was having with other people that were actually really good as well, and if there was no lag, those matches were freaking awesome. Like yeah. you would just go back and forth for several minutes, like nobody's missing the ball, just power shot after power shot into yeah. block after block, and the just like a saving, just like trick shot across the mat or across the court, like. It just got super intense at, at parts, and like, yeah, yeah. there's so much potential for like a really good competitive scene in this game. And yeah, I mean, you could make matches last a long time because yeah. it's like you said, like it, as long as everyone keeps, you know, you keep building up that power meter and just power shots and blocking and just timing your trick shots and everything. Like, yeah, it has potential. Like matches can go for it. I think at least like a solid like 15 minutes. Yeah, and I've had I've had like trick shots that I did where I totally threw somebody off. And then they would do this saving throw, like yeah. like last millisecond hit that ball that just blew me away how these people caught yeah, these yeah. things. And then I had a few like that too where I would just be like, oh! <laughs> like I wouldn't have anything in my power meter. Somebody would do like a power shot and I would still block it. Yeah, and yeah, it would just like, you're like, oh my God. But then you have to like be ready to get the get the ball again, like yeah, there's yeah. some intense It's intense super spots. intense. So, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. I th I, like I said, I think it has potential to be one of Nintendo's greatest like online like presence in terms of games yeah. like I, I I really think it stands up there uh, next to Smash and I think Pokemon Tournament has done a good job with that as well but I, I think Splatoon 2's done a really good job yeah yeah I, I think I think Aces has just as well of a chance to do just as good or yeah. even better because it's honestly I, I like I think N Nintendo's online style is more built for one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. rather than party. Uh, so even though Splatoon 2 is very popular and a lot of people play it, especially in Japan, um, it's more difficult to do like team-based party style just because it's hard to chat and you yeah. know group Nintendo. up with people. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's more built for one-on-one, -on -one, which is why I think Aces, turn Pokemon Tournament, Smash, yeah. those games are you know the very bright future, and I think Aces especially yeah. is going to be great. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to the game when it comes out. Definitely buying it. Yeah. And I'm hoping to instantly find some tournaments to go to. And if you think, I'm, I'm listen, I'm, if you're listening, watching this, if you think you're good at that game, challenge me. Because I'm going to show you that you're not. Challenge <laughs> I will take any money bet on that game. Right. I say that until I lose, and I'm like, out thousands. <laughs> you're homeless I'm just on the on, Yeah, I'm just on the street like, oh, I thought I, I was going to buy your tennis. Be the best. But yeah, I, uh, I love that game. I love yeah, my tennis game. Yeah, I think it's, like I said, I think it's going to be great. Um, already, I really love the demo. I can't wait to play single player. Um, but moving on. Yeah, we should probably move yeah, on. We, yeah, we, keep, we keep going about this, but uh, let's stay, staying in the so Nintendo Mario realm. So Mario Tennis, no, I'm just kidding. Keep going. <laughs> uh, staying in Nintendo, mm -hmm. uh, another... Uh, 
big things happening in the Pokemon world. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, one of my, and I, I was telling you this the other day. Um, so this game, before we get into the Let's Go Pikachu yeah, movie, because yeah. that's the big one, uh, this game Pokemon Quest came out uh, on the Switch, and it's going to be released on, on mobile later this month, uh, June. Um, Pokemon Quest, dude. Did, I can't, like, <laughs> I want to take a moment to just say how much Pokemon Team, like, I don't know if Game Freak was involved with this, I'm assuming maybe. Uh, there weren't, the, like, the beginning credits or whatever? I, honestly, I, I turned it on once, and I, I I looked away and I like I haven't stepped away from it since so I haven't restarted it. Gotcha. <laughs> so I haven't seen the title there screen again. <laughs> um, it's just how good it is. Yeah, but but it is. First off, it's a free game, yeah. and I think can't beat that. Yeah, it is. It's a free game on Switch, um, and I think it is better than Pokemon Go. I in in different ways. Right, right. Pokemon, Very different games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pokemon Go I thought was amazing when it first came out because you know you got a bunch of people that you never met. We we're all going to the same places and just bonding over this one nostalgic right. thing, and that was great for about two weeks. Yeah. Pokemon <laughs> Pokemon Quest I think is a a game that's like here to stay, and it is so much fun. It's essentially. Uh, you know, like any free mobile style game, it has its drawbacks. So there are times where like, you know, you can only play the game so much before it's like, hey, you got to go through your cooldown or you got to buy more yeah. stuff to, you know, which is fine. Whatever. It's a free game. It's a mobile game. They got to make money somehow. Right. Um, outside of that, I, I love everything about it. I, I love that it is simple. It's not It's not overly convoluted like Pokemon has gotten nowadays with different training and yeah, styles. Yeah, it's one of the big reasons I've kind of stepped away from Pokemon. Yeah, is, uh, I completely understand. It's, it's a little too much now. Like, I'm I'm such an old school Pokemon fan. Like, yeah. after, even after, like, Red, Blue, Yellow, I kind of fell out of it because I'm just a 151 fan. After that, it was, like, too many Pokemon already. Yeah. And then they get into, like, breeding and stuff. It's like, ah, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Like, I like the simplicity yeah. of what Pokemon used to and be. I, I agree 100%. And this caters to that so well because this is, as far as I know so far, this is the original 150, maybe 151, depending on if they want to add Mew. Um, right. But it is it. The point of the game is not uh, being a trainer. It is not about battling uh, other trainers and getting badges and the elite four. It's not about any of that stuff. It's simply about going on expeditions. Right. And your expeditions are, you know, you gather. You have your starting Pokemon, and you can, you know, you can recruit some by becoming their buddies. Uh, <laughs> it's really cute. Like, uh, and it's a cute art style. It's like a Minecraft. Yeah, style. I gotta say, like. Looking at that game, it is freaking adorable. Like yeah. the the little uh, ponytail that like, yeah, it's he's just, just like, like <laughs> doing this weird like uh, those like a rocking horse. Yeah, thing yeah, almost. yeah, like a rocking. Horse. It, the, yeah, <laughs> like the a, legs don't bend. It's just like a, just going back and forth. Yeah, it looked like it definitely looks like if like uh, something like like Polly Pocket or something was yeah. mixed with Minecraft. Yeah. That's kind of what Very the, much the so. whole thing sort of looks I, like. I just got a Bulbasaur, and it's probably the cutest thing in the world because <laughs> it's got a big cube head with a big cube plant thing on its back, and it's just like <laughs> moving <laughs> like this. Rocket horse style. Just. It's so funny. But but this game, like, uh, it's really fun, and uh, gathering, getting Pokemon to join your party is really cool because you have a base camp where they all just kind of hang out and play together. Uh, you can cook stuff which um, attracts Pokemon, and you can make them join your, your right. team. Uh, the, the expeditions are really cool. It's essentially your, you've got your three, you have a three party system, or a three character agent party system. And what you're doing is you're just going through the uh, expedition and you're just battling wild Pokemon that are just there. Uh, it's not random encounters, you're just strolling along. You don't, as far as I know, you can't control where your Pokemon go, they just kind of wander. Right. And they just battle what they see, and you can, you know, you you're scrolling between their attacks, and it's it's really simple and really fun. Yeah, it almost seems like from what I've I've kind of watched of you playing, it almost seems like a really simplified like RTS style, where it's you know it's sort of like yeah. overhead, and yeah, but the, you know they're kind of doing their own thing, it's like right? Their own little tiny cute Zerg rush. Yeah, and their <laughs> their attacks are on cooldown, so it, it steps away from the turn based system, and it's everything's on cooldown. It's it's uh, I, w I won't say it's it's like exactly like the way Chrono Trigger worked, where you attack and then you have a cooldown and then you can restart your right. attack. 
But it kind of is, except there's no like items and it's very simplified. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's fun. It's it's honestly it is very addicting and very fun and very free, which is <laughs> which I I, now, I look I love that about. Does it. it feel like you're very pressured to buy something? No, not at all. Uh, they have on the eShop right now. They have expedition packs where you can get a bunch of extra stuff. Um, and I think the most expensive one is 30 bucks because it comes with like everything, but right. the cheapest one I think is five or ten. Um, but there's nothing in the game that says, hey, you can purchase more stuff here. Yeah. Uh, you can, the currency in the game is these Pokemon tickets, and you can earn them by doing quests like, you know, creating recipes or, or recruiting yeah. Pokemon or whatever. Um, but there's never a moment where it's like, hey, go to the eShop and buy stuff. Right. Um, not just screaming at you at all, yeah, all times. <laughs> yeah, it's not full cool, of like, microtransactions. That always sucks. <laughs> it, yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, this game, I think it's super cute. It's super fun. It is, because it's free, I think every single person should download this because mm -hmm. it's such a cool Pokemon game to experience. Even and, if you're not a Pokemon fan? Oh yeah, I think so. Cool. Because there's no... Like, there's no pressure of, like, where do I go? What do I do? Yeah. Do I talk to this person? What, you know, like, how does evolving work? Or how does training? Like, there's a little bit of a grindy system in this game, but definitely not on par with, yeah. like, the actual Pokemon games. Cool. Um, but it's, it's like I said, it is great. It is super yeah. fun. Uh, the battles are really cute, because you're just... Sometimes I feel bad, because, like, there's only <laughs> just, one... Like, there's one little Oddish, and my three my three Pokemon <laughs> just gang these, up on it. Poor little Oddish. I always feel like I'm bullying them, cause, but then there's, like, ten of them that come out and fight back, so I'm like, all right, I don't feel bad. Uh, but, yeah, I, I can't speak enough about this game. I, I think it's yeah. super fun, and I think it's worth getting for anybody, if you're a Pokemon fan or not. Last thing I'll say about it, I really like the music and the uh, and the sound effects. A yeah. lot of, like, stuff was pulled out of, like, red, blue, yellow. Yeah, they have the original sounds. Like, yeah. when you get a Pokemon, or, uh, like, I don't know, like a Bulbasaur goes, you know, like the original yeah. sounds, like it sounds yeah, very so much like it, a Game Boy. Yeah, it, uh, it really was, like, kind of sending me back. Mm -hmm. It was, like, those little nostalgic sound effects. It's yeah. like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. I, yeah. I honestly, I can't recommend it enough. I played it so far for at least three, four hours. And the only reason I wouldn't play more is because, you know, there's a cooldown where it's like, all right, you can't play anymore until you, you know, yeah, you wait. I feel you. But it's it's great. I love it. And I can't wait till it comes to mobile because I really want to see if you can, like, go between your Switch and we'll your see. mobile. And speaking of going between Switch and mobile. Ooh, good segue. Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, Boom. and and Eevee. Um, so these two games... Uh, the big Pokemon games that are coming to Switch mm -hmm. have finally been announced. Um, At least one of them, because apparently there's like another mainline game that's going to be coming. Yeah, next year yeah. There's stuff. there's another. It's like the first big Pokemon right, game. Right. This Switch. is yeah. This is their first big like RPG Pokemon game to come to Switch, and it's really interesting. Yeah. Mainly because you can go between Pokemon Go and Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. And it looks like you can, um, you know, transfer Pokemon between each. I think you can just go from mobile to, uh, but you to can, your Switch. Well, I don't know because on the trailer, I'm pretty sure on the on the the mobile, you they like you can get presents, which I think are Pokemon being sent from your Switch, or you mm. can like send it to people. I don't know. I could. I, I thought I heard that you couldn't because you can go one way but not the other. Right. I don't know. I mean, I mean, the game's not out yet, so I mean... Yeah, that's yeah. The th there's still, like, there's a lot of information I'm still kind of waiting for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, a lot of this stuff is basically going off the trailer. Yeah. And uh, I think it's... But I think other than that, um, which is still a cool feature, uh, I think it looks really, really fun. Right. Mainly because you can ha go, like, two-player on it. Yeah. Like, you can... Someone can grab a joy Because you can only... I mean, you can play the game with one Joy-Con, which I think is really cool. Yeah, it's cool. basically, I think, like a, uh, like a joystick and a, and a button. That's, yeah. that's basically but I mean, all you that's, need. That's basically every... It could almost be like a, an Atari, Atari joystick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's like every Pokemon game. Yeah. I mean, you don't need a lot of buttons. You know, yeah. when it's turn-based you know, RPG, like, you don't need... You need, like, a, one button, actually. <laughs> like, really could do it. Pretty much. Um, but I think it's really cool, like, especially in the trailer when the person was, like, they were playing alone and their buddy came up and they grabbed the other Joy-Con and then they just appear, right. appeared on the screen. It's like... That's amazing. I wonder how the Switch is going to know, like, my trainer information. Like, how does it, you know you know what I mean? Like, let's say it's you... It's just going to guess. 
And it just gets like, are you Bill? Like, like uh, we'll no. give you all eight badges. And here's a Mewtwo. <laughs> Have fun. It's just like, <laughs> you look like a master. <laughs> yeah, how that. would you know that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really wondering, like, how they're going to do that. Like, like how's it going to know? Like, if, it, if you can play two-player on this, like... I guess it can go off your account, like you have to log in, like any uh, PlayStation or yeah, Xbox to log that, in. Or like maybe it just syncs with like your Pokemon Go on your phone or something. Like maybe. Who knows? But even then, like, cause, <laughs> so many questions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be interesting to see how you know how it turns out. But I think it's really cool the fact that you can run around with two people and two player and go through this, you know, Pokemon adventure with a buddy, that, right. which I think is awesome. Like it's never been done before, and there's never been a, a game like that where. Yeah. So that's why, like I've always wanted a um, like a Pokemon MMO. Not that I'm a big MMO guy, mm-hmm. but just like a world that like you and like your buddies could run around and catch Pokemon together and stuff yeah. like that has always been something that I've wanted. And uh, this seems like a first decent yeah. step in the right direction towards I mean, something like that. I, I agree. Just because when I was a kid and I watched the Pokemon TV show, it's like you know Ash always had his party. And he had a group of people. Yeah. But then when I play the games, I'm just by myself. I'm just like, well... <laughs> I, Red doesn't have friends. <laughs> yeah, really. Red doesn't have friends. None of the main <laughs> characters have friends, apparently. All I have is Pokemon. They have rivals. <laughs> <laughs> which you can name them Dirty Words, <laughs> which has always been really fun. That's pretty much all I did. Yeah. Just Pokemon's just like, hey, what Dirty Words do you know? You want to name Pokemon and people yeah, after yeah, yeah. them? <laughs> it's like, Oak. It's like, what's your name again? <laughs> Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's exactly what I would do, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so, so this, like, the big Pokemon RPG now... Uh, uh, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Another thing that they announced is like this little Pokeball attachment, yeah. which I think is really cool. Like I kind of want to get one just to have it because I think yeah. it's a cool little, I want to put it on my keychain and just kind of, you know, walk around with it. I don't know if it, does it have a little keychain thing on it? I think it has like a little hoop you can wrap it around your your hand. So I mean, you just put that in a keychain. Cool. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, but it's cool because like apparently you can like take a Pokemon from your game yeah. and like walk around with it. And yeah, like, apparently it, it feels like there's a Pokemon inside. Yeah, like it vibrates and it's got like movement and stuff. Yeah. And I think it makes noise as well, like you can hear it inside of there. Yeah. But it's it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if that'll make it like level up or... Oh. Like it's... I think you just shake it and give it like brain damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you, then you get into a fight with it it's like, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Like the closest... Then you go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> the, the closest thing I could think of are like the old school Tamagotchis mm-hmm. where you walk around with it or like the, the Digimon ones where... I mean, what about the Pikachu one? I didn't ever have that one. What? It's right, the, it's right there. I had the I, I had the uh, <laughs> the Digimon one, where you walked around with like an egg and it would hatch, and right. then you walk around more and it would digivolve, and it's like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So the Pikachu one, you could like the way you you got like currency and stuff is you would shake it, and give like it, brain it was basically <laughs> and you give it brain damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you wear it on like your hip, and it's got like a little. Um, stepometer thing in it yeah, yeah and basically the more you stepped the more like energy you got to like buy things for pikachu oh, nice. but most kids like you know it'd be like elementary school and all the kids are like just, oh, you're just shaking yeah, yeah, them like a madman i mean that's what i do with my digimons i think every kid who had a tamagotchi yeah. was just gonna shake it yeah, up and just, just gotta give those little creatures brain damage yeah really <laughs> i don't want to say like don't this... shake your kids <laughs> <laughs> tamagotchi was way ahead of its time in terms of like you know people could do like apple fitness with the watches and yeah. stuff and all that and it counts your steps i saw him one day like really might have been toys r us (laughs) i mean that's not really saying too much for it but i think they attempted to make a comeback and just nobody cared yeah i mean it's kind of well past its time you should really just do like a like a game on a phone like a tamagotchi like pokemon go well (laughs) maybe like no just do it you know basically a tamagotchi Gotchi game, but it's just like on the phone, you know. I mean, yeah, you easily could. There's really I bet not there much is to it. one. It's just nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's well past its time. <laughs> Sorry, Tamagotchi. It's like just it's it's over. If you walk to anybody like like 18 years old and under nowadays, be like, what's Tamagotchi? You're like, what? <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> they just they've gone the way of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee are gonna come out uh, this year. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I like. I haven't gotten like the last Pokemon game I got, like a main Pokemon game, was um, Omega Ruby, I believe it was the Omega was Ruby that and like Alpha Sapphire two, ones. Two games ago, ish. I think two or three, because I think the latest was Sun and Moon. Yeah. Um, I think it was like two or three games ago, um, but I had that on my 3DS. But it's interesting. I, I wonder with this coming out, and then the new, the new, new Pokemon game coming out in 2019, like. 
Does that mean that they're going to keep making them for the 3DS, or are they just going to make them for the Switch? So, my prediction, and I think I even, I even mentioned this to you the other day, I was thinking about it, and it's just like, the 3DS just isn't going anywhere. It's just like, they're, they're going to support that thing into like 2020 at this point. It's just, it just won't die. You know, when they come out with like, Hylian Shield editions, it's kind of hard not yeah, to, because I really dude, want that, one. That's dope. <laughs> I really want it. But I, I think like, the next mainline Pokemon game, Whatever it is, uh, you know, Pokemon Purple, like Blurple and Durple or whatever. Yep. It's <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, that'll be, it'll basically be like Pokemon Blurple and Durple for Switch, Purple and Durple for 3DS, 3DS, and and then you could like maybe transfer things between them. But yeah, they'll have like their own um, kind of art styles to a point. Like it's. I don't not, know. not like too too crazy of a difference. Yeah, they could be vastly different. Yeah, like just um, you know, I think it'll be the kind of the same way with like uh, like Hyrule Warriors or any of those games where it's like they had the console version and then they had this like yeah, you even know, Smash kinda, to a point like Smash had the 3DS yeah. version. So I I think that's what's gonna happen because yeah. there's such a big install base for uh, the 3DS. You're just leaving money on the table if you're the Pokemon company because it's True. like you think about it, people are gonna buy that game. Hands down. Yeah, I it's mean, gonna happen. The, I mean, the reason why Nintendo handhelds have been su so successful over the years is mainly because of Pokemon. Yeah, like it's like you you could just straight up be like, here's a new 2DS with like it's the Mewtwo edition or the Eevee edition or something. It's got big Eevee ears and it transforms <laughs> into water and fire Eevee. <laughs> it just transforms in front of you. But it's like that with you know Pokemon Blurple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's the name of it, by the way. You know, just packed in for like 150 bucks. I'm sure that would just sell like hotcakes all day. Honestly, like if they made a Pokemon 3DS that had like, you know, like let's say it's a, I don't know, a Blastoise or a Squirtle edition and it comes with like Pokemon Blue pre-installed, I mean, I would get that. Just Dude, the Blastoise edition with just cannons just on cannons the side. Just cannons at? <laughs> oh, buy that. Oh, man, Nintendo You can fill it up it. with water and shoot it. <laughs> it's got it's a water gun as well. <laughs> just shoot, you can shoot water at people. Oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Well, these Pokemon dreams of mine, I hope they come true because it would be pretty awesome. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. Yeah. That's my prediction, though, for, yeah. for the I next mean, mainline game. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, so, like... Lots of cool stuff coming out on Nintendo. Um, like I said, the Pokemon Quest is awesome. Please download it. It's free. There's, yeah. It doesn't force you to buy anything. It's really fun to play, even if you've only got like an hour, you're sitting on your toilet or something. <laughs> it's really great. It's, it's honestly like I can't speak enough about it. But moving on. Let's do it. We're stepping away from Nintendo. Uh, big, big, big reveal came out this week. Um, a lot of people went crazy. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> yes, that was a thing that happened. And no one cared. But, <laughs> so that happened. Next thing on the list. Uh, no, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mario Odyssey was better. Whatever. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Fallout. Fallout 76 was has been announced. And I gotta tell you, I'm, uh, I'm very scared right now. Uh-oh. Mainly because of uh, an article that came from Kotaku that's saying that they have sources uh, saying that it is going to be an online survival game. Yeah, featuring, online survival featuring RPG. Featuring Soldier 76 from Overwatch. Featuring Soldier 76, the Philadelphia 76ers basketball <laughs> team, uh, the 76 gas station. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just everything. So, just the Declaration of Independence, which was made in 1776. There you go. <laughs> um, but no, so... <laughs> Dude, I play that game. That game sounds sweet. <laughs> just like playing basketball just, with soldiers. just like, what's happening in this game? <laughs> so much randomness in this game. Um, but no. <laughs> um, so, the article is saying that it is going to be an online survival game, yeah. uh, based off of um, the closest like comparison are games like um, Rust and I think Daisy is what Daisy. it's called. Yeah, Daisy. Um, so, I can get to my opinion on that. Yep. But I want to hear from you first. Okay. So, <laughs> we had this long argument about this earlier. It wasn't uh, even that long, or an it argument. Like, it was really. like twelve straight hours. It was a one-sided you know? affair, honestly. <laughs> so. You know, I I've always loved the um, the Fallout lore and the just it's it's such like an interesting world and concept and all that. It is. You know me, like I love um, uh, like alternate reality, like yeah. you know, alternate history kind of stuff. Where like you know, like in, in this game, like the uh, uh, um, 
what what is it the the processor like the microprocessor was never invented and that's how like kind of all this stuff came to be right uh and it's like stuff like that's like super interesting to yeah me. um but and i've never, does a really good job with that yeah I've, I've just i've never really been a fan of the kind of game that fallout is which is kind of this like very open world just kind of roaming around um you know just kind of talking to a lot of people doing a lot of side quests kind of stuff um you know, it all it, like like you know, Fallout, Skyrim, Breath uh, of the Wild. like not not Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, all right, of course, that's different. Somehow. It is different. Well, that game is freaking amazing. It is, but uh, not that different. Um, I think it is because you know it's like it's third person. You know you're things. Right. Uh, well, that's one thing. Really. <laughs> you can make it third person though. Yeah, uh, but you know, it's just like it always feels like it's like a like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing where it's just like. You know the the dialogue's okay, but it's not like nothing's gonna blow your mind. Um, as far wild. as like, uh, now that game's hilarious. <laughs> I, 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 like, <laughs> dialogue. There's no dialogue in that game. Yeah, but it's um, yeah, it's one of those things. that's like, uh, like the performances aren't the best. You know the uh, the story. It's like you gotta like really find it in there versus like a more linear game like like Bioshock or something like that or Wolfenstein where it's just like the performance the performances are like just killer you know you're just you got 12 hours of just epic just story driven right. like here's everything all these like crazy set pieces mm -hmm. are set up just for these like really cool uh situations that you're going to stumble into immediately you know and it's uh yeah, I'm just like, you know, like I said, like Fallout and even in like The Witcher and stuff like that. It's just, they always seem like uh, very just enormous games that like, they just kind of turn me off instantly. Like, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to put like 500 hours into a game. Sure. You know, so it's, but anyway, so like kind of getting to um, this game, it sounds interesting to me as somebody that kind of loves that world and wants to play a game within it but doesn't necessarily want to play a traditional Fallout game. Like, I played Fallout Shelter, and I love that little game. Mm -hmm. And uh, not that the, it really builds on very much of, like, the Fallout. Yeah. It's a very no. silly it's game. It's a silly little game. But it was still something where it's like, I love that the that world enough that, like, I could enjoy that game a lot. Yeah. And so it'd be cool to play something else within that world that isn't necessarily, like, a traditional Fallout game. I know you have a completely different opinion about this. That is fine. You're allowed to have but, uh, an opinion. This is America. No. You can have your opinion. <laughs> There's only right and wrong. Oh, I'm no. right. You're wrong. You're That's allowed kidding. to have your opinion, and I'm going to tell you why it's wrong. <laughs> you, can, you can still say it. You can just be wrong, and that's yeah. fine. You can be wrong. So first off, let's just get it off the bat. Fallout is not an online game. Fallout was never <laughs> built like an online game. It doesn't make sense to be an online game. Right. Uh, I think that they want to do this because of there's a big craze right now in Fortnite and PUBG, uh, fort building kinds of games where you can build your your uh, your tower defense or whatever, and you yeah. can fight off there's raids. Things and like stuff. Uh, uh, oh shit, like Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, right. I think it was one, and uh, it's a bad example, but like Metal Gear Survive that, that just came out. Yeah. Uh, even Minecraft to a point is sort of like that. Right. There, you know. you know, there's tons of different games where you build up your your tower, so to speak. I'm just yeah. using that as loosely as a term. You build your tower and you defend it from whatever. Yeah. Right. That's a, that's a very popular game, and it, it's totally fine. Or popular game style. Yeah. Totally fine. This is why it doesn't make sense. Fallout. <laughs> okay. First off, the character, who you are, you are always the lone wanderer. That's that's the main character in Fallout, the lone yeah. wanderer, and you just you go throughout this world because there's always a quest, whether it's finding your dad or finding your son, doesn't matter what it is, or finding the guy who shot you in the head. Uh, that is the point of those games to, you know, you have, you start out with something happening, something very like, it could be really big or really small, and you go on this epic quest to, to find an answer to that question. Like Fallout New yeah. Vegas is like, who shot me? That's, that, that's playing through that game. You start out, you get shot in the head and you try to find out who shot you in the head. Uh, Fallout 3 is like, you gotta find your dad, played by Liam Neeson. It was really cool. Um, but this whole, this, this game is all about a, an ex, uh, exploration and uh, an adventure, right? right? It is not about building a tower <laughs> and not exploring and just defending your base. And I think they got this idea because in Fallout 4, uh, the latest one that came out a couple years ago, or three years ago, um, 
you know, you can build like you can build your settlement. You can build a uh, a settlement and you can guard it. You can set up like defense yeah. systems, and you can set up like gardens or whatever. You can make like a like a little city basically. Yeah. And which is cool. Like it's totally fine for people who want to invest the time to make their own town. And like you know, if you're out on an adventure, you can get like a notification saying, "Oh, it's being attacked. You should go back and fight the raiders." Right. And that's totally fine. You can you can do that. And it's great, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm not that type of person. Yeah, like to me, you. Fallout is not about hunkering down in one spot and just that's it. That's why it's 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 you know no, it's not up. a mainline game. Shut up. It's that's not, that's wrong. You, you know. can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, it that game is about exploring. It's about interacting with tons of different people and creatures and doing things to either help or destroy. Like in Fallout 3, you brought up like set pieces, right? Mm -hmm. in, in like single player narratives. Fallout 3 had one of my favorite ones where you can literally blow up a city because uh, it's called Megaton and it's got a giant nuclear warhead in the middle of it right. and people worship it thinking it's a god. You can choose the story <laughs> of blowing up that bomb and blowing up Megaton and it just, it leaves nothing. <laughs> All the people there are dead. The quests that you could have done for them are dead. There's nothing. It's just, it's just, it's ash. And I think it's, I think that's hilarious that yeah. you can, you know, you can <laughs> I choose. think it's hilarious murdering well, an entire city. <laughs> it's, it's not about the murder. It's about the choices. Yeah, like you. that game has so many choices that you can make and you can like totally get rid of one side of a game because you chose a different side. Right. Right? They, and that's really fun. And that's the best part about Fallout is that these single player narratives are all about choices. They're all about consequences. They're all about who you will, uh, you um, align yourself with. It, like, like Fallout 4 didn't have the karma meter like Fallout 3 did. Right. But you can still align yourself with different uh, parties and you can decide who lives and who dies in certain situations. And I love that yeah. because it makes me feel like I'm like super important. This, <laughs> Fallout 76, <laughs> it just seems, and, and honestly the game hasn't come out yet, and Bethesda hasn't announced anything, yeah. they haven't said anything, so this is purely speculation off of what Kotaku said. But it just doesn't, it, it just doesn't feel like a Fallout game if all this is true and if it's like Rust or DayZ, you know, those games are like, you spawn, you punch a tree to get wood, <laughs> and then you just keep building yeah, and building yeah. for yourself. It's like, that's yeah. not... But I, I don't know, I, like... At this point, like, Bethesda can almost do no wrong. Like, so I, I give them kind of the benefit I, yeah. of the doubt. Like, if they're I, making a game yeah. like this, they're going to have their own Bethesda twist on it, most likely. Totally agree. And it's just like, even if it's something a little different, I think it's something that will probably be pretty dope. You know, I, so I agree. I give because them that. I, I agree. I love Bethesda. I, like, Bethesda is one of my favorite, like, publishers slash developers, like Bethesda Game Studios. Yeah. I think they're fantastic. Every game they make, I, I honestly, like, I love all their games. Like, I... So out of Dishonored. Well, I, it's not even I have a problem with Dishonored. Jerk. It's just not for me. Like it, I don't have. I know it's a I good know, game. Feel... Like I just, I just. It's kind of how you feel about Fallout. Like yeah. you know it's a good game. It's just not for you. Yeah. That's how I feel about Dishonored. But I, I think I, I want to. Like I say all of this knowing that I need to know more, obviously, yeah. and we're gonna find out more at E3. And I just. I just hope that if it is an online game, I hope it's kind of like Bloodborne, where you can where you can turn it off. I, I feel like it's gonna be something sort of like that because Bethesda is always kind of like a single player first. Right, mindset. save player one. Yeah. That was their thing last year, <laughs> and to do this, it just seems like nah yeah. online. I, I I think they'll have a good twist on all of. I hope so on because this whole genre. It, they, and and I'm gonna make one more point about this. Why? And I told you the same exact thing I said earlier. Another reason why I think it's weird is that Fallout, the combat, no matter whether you choose a like a you know a sword or a gun or a knife or grenades, rocket launcher, don't matter what your weapon is, bare fist, nuclear bomb. Yeah, you can shoot <laughs> nuclear bombs. Uh, it doesn't matter what weapon it is. They have the VAT system, which is like bullet time, right? Yeah, you, yeah. You you target your your uh, target, and uh, you can choose like what limbs to shoot or what which limbs to punch. You can punch somebody in the face ten times if you want. Like that's <laughs> like that's the VAT system, yeah. and then you you click, and then you watch it in slow motion as it happens. I don't know how that works or that how that translates to online. Yeah. It just seems like a weird 
I, like I said, I don't know how it translates online. If it does, it just seems weird that like you can just be wandering and then all of a sudden time stops and you just, <laughs> you're just like, wait, did my game freeze? Oh no, I'm dead. Yep. Well, it just, get it, good. It, yeah, like yep. get good, have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> it just seems weird. Uh, I think it's more about I think it's more about a tower defense. Right. I honestly, I think that's what it is, and it's a very, you know, it's a, it's a craze that's always been popular, especially now with Fortnite. Um, it's just this isn't Fallout to me, and yeah. I really hope that I'm wrong. I hope Bethesda's like, Yo, Hav, relax, we got you. <laughs> we got you, boy. I hope so. Yeah, they were like up on the <laughs> on stage, like Hav. Hav. Like, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is for my boy Hav. We got you. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I hope that's the case. I hope so too. Me too. Shout I mean, out would be pretty sweet. It would. I would like, oh damn, <laughs> I got friends at Bethesda. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of like my uh, hot take, if you will, on on Fit. Fallout. Fit. I really just I, I just want it to be the single player narrative campaign that I fell in love with when I first played Fallout. Yeah. I, that's what I want, and I don't want that to change. Like, yeah. Single player narrative has always been my bread and butter. It always will be. I'm not huge in the online scene. I just want this to. Just please, <laughs> yeah. please be like single player as well. Yeah, I, I think it will. I, 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 we'll see. I, I got good feelings. And playing as a 76ers is going to be dope. It is. <laughs> we get to dunk on people yeah. in the Fallout it's, world. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of that Fallout piece. It was the, one of the biggest things that happened this past week. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's a big thing happening. And it's going to be huge at E3, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And, and, uh, and speaking of the E3... I know you wanted to go over a little bit about what's going to be announced. Yeah, just just touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're running out of time, but uh, you know, we got we got a, yeah, few, a few moments. moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few mins. Well, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, I think I think one of the biggest ones that was announced recently was Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed yeah. Odyssey. Like, I think it's going to be a you know big one. I honestly, yeah. I, I wish they would have. Again, it just seems like Origins just came out, and know, we're already right? moving on. Like, it just. I. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's yeah. Uh, it's another Assassin's Creed. I will say, I care a little more about this one because it's apparently taking place in Greece, and that that's sounds true. That's super true. interesting to me as a, as a Greek, Greek man. <laughs> as a Greek man. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's like ancient Greece is like super fascinating to me. Yeah. So it's like to have a game set in that time period sounds. Pretty interesting. It might be the first Assassin's Creed I try in a while. Yeah. I mean, I tried Origins. And you tried went, the demo. <laughs> it wasn't my bag. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I just, I, I'm still waiting. Like, so when are you going to make the Ninja one in Japan? Because you know that's... Yeah, right? I it's... don't know why you're avoiding it. Like, that's the obvious one. Like, I, I might actually buy it if I could be a ninja in, like, feudal Japan. Like, that would be kind of cool. Um, just wait for Ghost of Tsushima for that. Pretty much. You're going <laughs> to have to. Um, so yeah, that that's gonna be at at E3. Uh, is there anything in particular you want to bring up for E3? Because we got a, I got a list in front of me. Yeah, I mean, you go Kingdom Hearts three. I can talk about that too. I didn't we, we talked about that. Did I'll we? About, yeah. I'll talk about it again because <laughs> it looks good. I mean, I just you know, I I think we've uh, there's been like a couple like little you know random leaks here and there as far as like. Uh, you know, not necessarily confirmed, but things like Fortnite come to Switch. That sounds like yeah. it should happen. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I, I think that would only benefit both parties, really. Yeah, and uh, you know, Fighter Z as well. Yeah, Fighter Z should come for to sure. Switch as well. So another I, one that just makes yeah, sense. Yeah, makes like the moment that comes out for the Switch. I will yeah. be buying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have That's been a, waiting for the Switch port. <laughs> I, that, that game is so much fun, man. Yeah, I love that game so it's much. A cool game. It's so good. And then, of course, Sonic Racers. No, I don't care about that Ooh, game. Oh, <laughs> boy. The, guy, the, the Sonic like, game I've been waiting for. Okay. Very short, hot take. <laughs> Sega, I hope you're listening. Nobody wants a <laughs> racing game with Sonic in a freaking race car. What are you doing? Yeah. We don't want him on a race car. We don't want him on a, on like a board. Yeah. He runs at the speed of sound. It's in the song. <laughs> it's, I'm going to say it one more time. Sega. Sonic runs at the speed of sound. He doesn't need a race car. <laughs> in fact, I don't think any Give, of the characters do. N- none of them do. <laughs> it's the best racing game uh, that Sega or that the Sonic series ever had was the very end of Sonic Adventure 2 when you're racing, racing in Shadow. Shadow. And it's super rad. It was almost yeah. like. I actually liked the two player in that game because you raced against each other. Yeah. And I thought it was great. Yeah, and I just. Like, give me like F Zero. 
but with Sonic and friends on foot, yeah. just running like lightning. Like that is a, that is a Sonic racing game. Yeah, yeah. That's a, I, I agree. It's, it's it's just. Uh, it, it literally breaks my brain thinking yeah. about Sonic in a race car. It'd be like if the Flash <laughs> had a race car. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. what is... It's, Why? And I bet that toy's out there. It just probably like, has his own car. <laughs> the Flash car. Which uh, he just pushes. <laughs> go faster. Yeah, it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. It's pretty dumb. It doesn't make any sense. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that... Um, oh, there's another one that I think would be interesting. Uh, sorry, I just I have the list from IGN yeah, yeah. pulled up. Uh, Skull and Bones. Yeah, I hope they they talk about that more. Yeah, this, yeah, I think they will. Because honestly, it's time. that was the best part about any Assassin's Creed game ever. Yeah, was the the pirate ship battles from yeah. from Black Flag. And they, they literally took that out and made a game out of yeah. it, which I'm totally fine with and because it's awesome. If, if Ubisoft's done one thing right over the last several years is online support for their like multiplayer games yeah. has been phenomenal between like um oh gosh i already forgot literally all of the rainbow six siege rainbow six. <laughs> uh there's uh the the uh, what's the one with the vikings and all that for honor, uh, for honor there's uh why i'm uh, literally bl the division i'm blanking on literally all of them tom clancy's uh ghost recon yep. like they've had crazy killer um uh, just support for those games. Yeah. So I, uh, I have good faith that Ubisoft is just really taking their time and making that awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm at, like, I'm, I'm putting some trust in them. I really hope Skull and Bones turns out to be good. Yeah. Uh, it's because it, it's like I said, it was the best part about any Assassin's Creed game ever. Um, so it's cool to make a game out of it. Yeah. Ooh, Metroid Prime. <laughs> Metroid Prime. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. Ooh, one more. <laughs> one more. Uh, a game that I don't know if a lot of people are talking about. Uh, Octopath Traveler for the Switch. Oh, yeah. That was a good demo. I think it comes that out was a great June? demo. Does it come out June? I think mid, no. uh, late June, I think. This month? I think so. Are you sure? Pretty positive. Mm, hold on. Let me just let me just double check that real quick. All right. So while you're looking at that, um, I guess we're, we'll end on a, a little video game history. July 13th. As well. Oh, there you go. That was close. That was close. Thank you. <laughs> I said, hey, man, I'm, I'm like two <laughs> weeks off. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're right, video game story. I want to get through that because right. this is a good one. Lay it, lay it on me. All right. Lay it on me. Let's see. I'm one for one right now. <laughs> you are. All right, so we're going back to the 90s. Okay. So um, I got my... A simpler time. So, uh, you know, I'm watching some um, f Full House. Ugh. Some, some uh, Family some, Matters, dog. Why would you watch Full House? I know, Full House is just on at the time. Ugh. Uh, watch Martin. Fa family Matters. Dude, Martin is... Awesome. This, uh, this yeah. is for another show. I love Martin. <laughs> so I'm watching Martin. All right, nice. I'm playing some uh, some Sega Saturn right now. Saturn, 64, yeah, PS1. Cool. You know, all that stuff. All right, I'm in the zone now. All right, cool. I'm in the zone. All right, so 1999, May 99. 31st. May 31st. Last 99. day of May in 1999, okay? Okay. We're going back to a game, a licensed IP game. Licensed IP. Yep. License IP, I'm going to give you... Oh, I don't want to give away too much here. It'll give it away. Um, I'm going to say enter... No, no, no. It, that would have been too soon. I was going to say enter the Matrix. That probably came out like 2001-ish. No, okay. yeah, not that. Continue. Uh, so License IP, 1999. Uh, it's a single player. Oh, I guess there is a multiplayer mode. Didn't know that. All right, I'll give you a developer. Titus Interactive. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Ooh. think about that for a second. Ooh, I can't think of a single game with them. <laughs> I can't either, <laughs> except uh, for this one. Came ooh. out in the 64. 64, okay, that narrows it down. Uh, oh, gosh. Mm. Wait, so, I don't know what else I can give away without giving it away. W is it a third-person shooter? No. Or like a third-person game? or? Yeah, it's third-person. Okay, it's, third it's not FPS. Yeah, yeah, so third-person... Uh, is it any type of superhero? It's a licensed IP. Crap. Uh, I, if I, I mean, if I give away superhero, I think it's too obvious. So, licensed IP. Okay. I'm gonna go with uh, Superman sixty four. Superman sixty four <gasps> is wrong. Oh. I'm kidding. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna give you. I was like, maybe I should give him the the like uh, the reception, the review scores. I'm like, no, that'll give it away. Yeah. <laughs> game it's Informer, got like a three. Game, 
Game Informer gave it a 1.25 out of 10. <laughs> Who gave it a 3? IGN gave it a 3.4 out of 10. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Nintendo Jesus. Power gave it a 4.7 out of 10. Wow, that's pretty high. <laughs> yeah, well, NC, which is weird because N64 Magazine gave it a 14%. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Out of a thousand. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, Superman 64, Dude, May 31st, that 1999. was garbage. I, like... It's pretty bad. I, I, I can't remember if I bought or rented that game, but I played... Uh, if... I think I beat it. If I didn't beat it, I got really close because I remember... I mean, it's, gosh, it's been... 20 some years since I've played that game but like I remember getting far in it and it would just there was so many broken things the, oh yeah the first thing that you do in that game the very first level is so stupid like Lex <laughs> Luthor he's like haha Superman I have kidnapped Lois Lane and some other pals you gotta <laughs> fly through these rings yeah to get to get them it's like well, I have to do what? It's so, yeah. there, there's just rings just in midair, kind of like in Star like, Fox 64. Yeah, yeah that's And so you have to fly through all these rings in time, and if you don't get through them all in time, it's just like, oh, game over, you lost. Yeah. It's like, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why? How did he put these rings here? And then if you actually beat that part, if you get all the rings and you get to where they're at, no. they're not even kidnapped. They're just standing in a field. Yeah, just, yeah. It's just like, what is this? Where's Lex Luthor? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it just, dude, it's like, really, guys? You just stood there? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it um, like, and people would just shoot you through walls in that game. Yeah. And it's like, why are bullets hurting me? Yeah. It's just, that game is just Ma yeah. garbage. It makes no sense. Just, just a hot pile of garbage I agree on fire just megaton nuclear bomb explosion just agreed bad <laughs> I also uh, apparently uh, Rocksteady might have a Superman game that it's announced at E3 I just saw this oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. so in Rocksteady we trust because dude I be okay hope that. that's a real thing <laughs> dude, too, that sounds that, fantastic yeah, well apparently it's a rumor they may finally unveil so it sounds like they're it's confirmed that they're making something yeah. Because it says Rocksteady Studios. Well, God, I would hope Rocksteady's making something. <laughs> well, but I mean, like, you know, it's not a rumor of, like, hey, they might be making this. It says that they might unveil, like, they'll finally unveil it, which means yeah. it's in development. So. Yeah. I'm okay also, with Rocksteady making a superhero game. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with them making any superhero game, really, because yeah. Arkham games. The Arkham games. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Dude, not tank Arkham battles. Nice. That is a tank bang. battles. <sighs> if Superman has a tank, I will literally... <laughs> Just, I, I will just go jump off something very I'm gonna high. I'm going to fly to England, go to Rocksteady, and be like, what is wrong with you? Stop making tanks! It's like, and then you see in development, they've got their Flash game. It's going to be a kart racer. It's like, like, no! Why are you sitting in a car? Stop it! Stop putting things in cars that shouldn't be in cars. Unless it's a Flintstone car, and they're using their feet. I don't want Flash in a car. I don't want Sonic in a car. Quit putting fast people in cars. <laughs> These are the games we have to look forward to. Like, you know why Batman has a car? Because he doesn't run that fast. <laughs> you know why Flash doesn't have a car? Because he runs really fast. Just it's like a Sonic very simple should concept. not have a car. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's a great way to end the show yeah. right there. Yeah. So thank you everybody for uh, watching another fun, exciting episode of Multiplayer. Good Remember, times. you can check out this show every Tuesday on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And Patreon. And Patreon. <laughs> uh, you can uh, check out our Patreon where uh, our videos go up there, our podcast versions go up there, and you can throw us a fat stack of cash or a dollar or two or whatever. Or a nickel. I mean, or, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know if you can do a nickel. I think it's $1 or it's, more. It's a shame that digital currency is just wiping out the change system. <laughs> yeah, it's... So no nickels. Uh, I mean, you can mail us nickels if you want. <laughs> That's fine. I'll put it on but, the wall. My first nickel. <laughs> I, I'd be I'd, I'd be down for yeah. that. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, so yeah, so be sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check us out on um, uh, on all that fun social media stuff. Yeah, we got like the, Instagram. Uh, we, got the, we got the gram. Twitter. We got the twits. Oh, the know. gram. 
All right, the fam. Grams. All right, fam. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're at multiplayer, or no, at Go Multiplayer, at Go multiplayer. on those platforms. Uh, and then I'm at Zach Matzkana, Z A C K M A T Z G A N I S. Where can we find you? Uh, on Instagram, I'm at Jumpman underscore Ortiz. And then on Twitter, I am at Multiplayered Hive. I might rename it just to make them both consistent. We'll see what probably, happens. We should probably do that. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Make, make people's lives easy. Eh, I'm in the business of making things difficult for people, so we'll see. Depends. Uh, I also want to give a fat, just the fattiest shout out to our boy fat. DJ Cutman. Fat like that donut. <laughs> this fat donut thing over here. I don't know what we're going to do with that. It's huge. I'm going to go swimming with it. But you know what else is huge? Not in like physical size. Mm. He's just he's like a huge presence oh. in the uh, yeah, I was gonna say, chiptune music. Dude, just you know what else is huge? <laughs> Those beats that he drops. Oh yeah, that's way go. better. Save you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so check out his stuff. Uh, he's at patreon.com slash DJ Cutman or I think it's just DJ Cutman.com as well. Yeah, he has his website, DJ Cutman.com. Cool. But yeah, so that's the show. Thanks for uh, sticking around, all Good that stuff. fun stuff. Keep on grinding, and we will see you. At the respawn, baby. I love you, baby. We'd like to give a big old special thank you to Jaden Lawrence, Arturo Madeira, and Mercha Dan Kropataryu. If you want to receive shoutouts like these awesome, beautiful people, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com/multiplayered. See you next time, players.